do you still get nervous releasing new music? Yeah, girl. I mean, listen, <laughs> it's been three <laughs> years. Yes, it had, since Billie Eilish dropped her Happier Than Ever album. But that album had a long life, and then there was that song that was made for Barbie that got a bit of attention. But now, in May 2024, Billy wants to hit us hard and soft with a new album. I'm like shaky about it, a little. Oh, shaky about releasing? I'm a little shaky about it. Most critics think Billy and Phineas came hard with this third collection. The Independent gave it five stars, saying pop star whispers her way to big emotional wallops. Enemy gave it four stars, calling it bold, brilliant, and somewhat brighter, pointing out that there are upbeat bangers and a clear vision established for artistry in the years to come. New York Times gave it a 90, saying Billy dares to write twisted love songs. Peace went with 8.4 to 10, saying her third album yanks her out of her former teen stardom and gives her the space to reckon with the complexities of her own confusing, liberating adulthood. Consequence gave it 83 out of 100, writing Billie Eilish is wounded, soaring, and rejuvenated. Rolling Stone gave it 80 out of 100, saying Billy is more playful, more pissed, and as brilliant as ever. <laughs> Pitchfork was really the only one who thought it was a little soft, giving it 6.8 out of 10, writing it's an honest and ambitious album when it's not inert and repetitive. I really don't want to do a whole lead up. I don't want to have like a million months before it comes out. Now, unlike her first two albums, Billy didn't release a single prior to the album drop. She wrote on Instagram, not doing singles. I kind of want to give it to you all at once. Phineas and I truly could not be more proud of this album. And we absolutely can't wait for you to hear it. Yeah, so we all heard those 10 songs for the first time last Friday morning, including Christina Aguilera, who tweeted, thank you, Billie Eilish, for making my daughter's whole world at your LA listening party. <laughs> What's up? I appreciate your kindness. Thanks for signing her poster. We're both huge fans. Congrats on the new album. Whoa. Thank you, Billy. Thank you. And that album debuted with 72.726 million streams on its first day on Spotify. Camila Cabello commented, whole album is so good, which Ashley Benson echoed. Nicki Minaj wrote, hugs you really tight for a really long time and screams. Congratulations on your new album, Billy. Love you so much. Hugs Phineas and screams out again. Congratulations, Phineas. Kearney Wilson commented, just heard the first two tracks, which would be Skinny and Lunch, and then completely beeping. I think that's a compliment, right? Now by lunchtime, Billy had delivered the first single from the album in a music video for Lunch. I could eat that girl for lunch as she dances on my tongue. Tastes like she might be the one. It's racked up nearly 21 million views in nine days, and it's number seven trending in YouTube music. Selling Sunset's Chriselle Strauss commented, this song is a four course meal. Bon appetit. Yeah, and that song has stayed on top of the Spotify charts for most of the week. Both Katie Couric, yeah, and John Legend gave the album their seal of approval on Instagram, while Madison Beer was crying, crying, and crying, and crying in the comments. Also just gonna assume that that's a good cry. Now, Billy might be crying over these amazing numbers because she just had the biggest sales week of her career. With Hit Me Hard and Soft debuting with 339,000 units moved. And the streaming number was 386 million in the first week. That's her biggest week ever and it puts her at number six for the biggest debut by a female artist on Spotify. Woo. I've just got to talk about every song. I am I want to do all of it. Same. Now as an Apple Music employee, Zane Lowe tends to be a little excessive with his compliments over every single thing that an artist ever does. But he went out of his way with this one to go into Billy's comments on Instagram and write, without question, your finest album. Huge congrats. Do you agree? I don't know yet. I will say up front that I appreciate Billy's artistry. Um, I appreciate that she was able to become a pop star without really doing pop music. You're just so sweet. She's insanely talented, but I do find that she's an artist that I more appreciate than one that I listen to over and over again. Like, I mean, with her first two albums, yeah, I heard those first two albums when they first came out, heard them a couple more times. But beyond that, I don't hear tracks from them when you come on shuffle in my music. Now, Hit Me Hard and Soft is her most varied album, which I appreciate. Birds of a Feather and L'Amour de Ma Vie are spectacular changes of paces. Um, the Diner is less successful with change of pace, but I appreciate the effort. Skinny, Chihiro, The Greatest, Billy doing Billy at her best, Bittersweet, Blue, and even Wildflower. Meh, feels like I've heard that before from Billy. But I know what I haven't heard before, and that's Billy embracing her queerness. I love how much she does that on this album. So I went back and forth with what grade I'm gonna give this album. Um, B plus seems too low, A minus seems too high, but I'm going to give it an A minus because, yeah, Billy's doing a lot of great stuff on this album. Even though I'm still not sure it's going to be an album I listen to a ton, I definitely appreciate the artistry and the talent that went into this. Her infinite on this. Yeah, so what do you think of this album? I don't know. It's scary, Steven! <laughs>